I mean, I, have I think our tweet up. as far as as far as breaking news is concerned, um, we appear to both uh, be entrants on U the Ukrainian government's latest designated hit list um, of people <laughs> who aren't sufficiently uh you know pro the genocide of ukraine's entire male population so um yes we have been it's a website called texty um not particularly doesn't really roll off the tongue but um we're we're, we're both there um alexander rubenstein is a person um i am a person as well um allegedly um yeah um, and i think that my entry just makes me look cool because it states that like i was grilled by cancer terror police yeah um for my work for the gray zone which is true um so uh, that was the, uh, over a year ago now um i retained trauma uh so but if nothing else um it did help me be more famous yeah so in, 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 in a way so um yeah but like uh, the, the ukrainian government seems to have a habit of of creating these these hit lists there is that you're gonna to have to pronounce it for me. Alex. Atro vets, I yeah, think. It's yeah, vets. yeah. Which is like a a a hit list of people, and quite literally. I mean, it appears to be run out of Langley, Virginia, which is also where the the CIA is um, headquartered. And um, it, it, when people on that list end up dead, yeah, um, they are they get a red cross saying liquidated. Well, they have it's... they have um Langley, they have NATO headquarters, and a lot of shit yeah. in their websites metadata that's so. Um, it's kind of, I talked to a tech expert about this once. It's so prominent and, and like obvious and easy to find for anyone that knows what they're doing, yeah. that it, it's, it's like kind of a troll, you yeah. know, it's likely kind of a troll. Um, does that mean that it's not run by the Ukrainian government? Obviously it's run by the Ukrainian government, yeah. but, um, the, the, uh, head, like the location being Langley, yeah. I think is obvious. It's, it's, like, it's like NAFO, like, yeah, this right. troll troop where they all claim they're from Langley, Virginia, right. and people still fall for it. I know. Like, yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah. What can but, you do? But I like that, um, you know, they, 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 we should hire these guys to do a portfolio for each of us. Um, since we're so, uh, inept with tech. Uh, we could we could hire them to do our portfolios because they have a number of our articles that they've taken issue with. Um, Kit, they have Ukrainian trial demonstrates 24 Maidan massacre was a false flag. That's on the gray zone. These are all gray zone. Western press fetishizes Ukrainian amputees as limb loss epidemic grows. Leaked files suggest hidden by British hand in latest Kerch Bridge strike. And for me, Zelensky holds court with Ukraine's most notorious neo-Nazi. Father of Gonzalo Lira, American jailed in Ukraine, speaks out against political imprisonment. Ukrainian banker offers cash for drone terror in Russia. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like they're highlighting some of our best work. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> the past indeed. Years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen some people say that this is like a, a really cool list of people to follow on Twitter. Oh, yeah. You know what they're talking about. I mean, I might, yeah, I might add that, that, that it's interesting that they went for the that they decided to include my my article on on ukrainian amputees because um this is like one of the most staggering i mean there has been the level of journal journalism quote unquote during the proxy war has been um record-breakingly woeful um but this the, the, there was a new york times article published last summer which um effectively delved into the massive scale of amputees in the in the proxy conflict of, of ukrainians and how um there are so many of them that like the, the, the centers dealing with uh, the medical centers dealing with with amputees need to be as uh profuse as dentists yeah. um which you know tells you something um and that there was there, there was like a whole discussion about how actually the fact that so many ukrainians are now missing legs and arms is not a indicator of an absolutely dire battlefield situation it's a sign that ukraine is winning yeah um and there was a whole section about how it's really effective means of getting laid um getting an arm and leg blown off with some astonishing quotes um including this one soldier who allegedly prior to um being sent to the front line and getting blown to pieces um had never dared ask his hometown crush out on a date um uh, this was until mortar injuries took his leg and mangled his arms and then after suffering this irreparable life-altering injuries he and his sweetheart have been together ever since um and he was this this mangled soldier was quoted as saying it's magical someone can have all his arms and legs and still not be successful in love but an amputee can win a heart so yeah. i mean it's a great great recruitment advert actually yeah like, <laughs>
And I think uh, next month we'll have uh, more to add on 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 that subject. Um, yes. Maybe some of our uh, eagle-eyed viewers will figure out what I'm talking about here. But for now, I think we'll we'll keep that yes. uh, surprise uh, <laughs> under wraps. Yeah, indeed. July fourth. <laughs> July fourth. Yeah, July fourth. Everybody, mark the calendar. We're gonna have something interesting at that point. Yes. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.